Have you ever heard someone say that bay leaf tea can cure just about anything? Or maybe you've heard that it's dangerous to consume? Well, in this video, we're going to separate the fact from the fiction and uncover what science really says about this intriguing herb. Bay leaf tea has been praised for its health benefits, ranging from improved digestion to better respiratory health. But how much of this is true? We'll explore the most common myths circulating around bay leaf tea and back it up with solid, scientific evidence. Whether you're a tea enthusiast or just curious about trying something new, understanding these facts will help you make informed decisions about incorporating bay leaf tea into your wellness routine. So, have you ever wondered what bay leaf tea actually does for your body? Or perhaps you're looking for natural ways to enhance your health? Stick around as we debunk popular myths and give you all the details you need. Don't forget to hit that like button if you're excited to learn more and subscribe for more myth-busting and health tips. Let's get brewing! Alright, let's dive into some of the wild myths floating around about bay leaf tea. First up, the, miracle cure, myth. It seems like every other day there's a new post or video claiming bay leaf tea can cure everything from diabetes to baldness. As much as I wish that were true, there's no single magic potion out there. While bay leaf tea does have some great health benefits, like aiding digestion and maybe even helping with inflammation, it's not a cure-all. Always take these miracle cure claims with a grain of salt and look for solid evidence before you buy into them. Next, let's tackle the toxicity rumors. Some people hear, bay leaf, and think poison, right? Probably because we're told never to eat the whole leaf in our soup or stew since it's tough and can be sharp. But here's the scoop. Bay leaves are only dangerous if you swallow them whole because they can scratch your throat or get stuck in your gut, not because they're toxic. When it comes to brewing them into tea, you're totally safe. The leaves impart their flavor and beneficial compounds without any harmful effects, as long as you remove them before drinking. And then there are the myths about immediate health benefits. You might see stories online about someone drinking bay leaf tea and suddenly feeling all their ailments disappear. While it's a great addition to a healthy lifestyle, its benefits, like improved digestion and reduced inflammation, usually require consistent use over time to become apparent. Don't expect overnight miracles, but rather look at bay leaf tea as part of a long-term wellness routine. Alright, now let's shift gears and talk about the real, scientifically proven benefits of bay leaf tea. First off, digestion. If you've ever felt a bit bloated or had a tummy ache, bay leaf tea might be worth a try. Research shows that compounds in bay leaves can help kickstart your digestion and relieve symptoms like gas and bloating. This is because bay leaves contain enzymes that aid in breaking down proteins and rich, complex foods, making your digestive process smoother. Moving on to inflammation, another big win for bay leaf tea. Bay leaves are packed with anti-inflammatory compounds like eugenol, which is also found in cloves and cinnamon. These compounds act somewhat like over-the-counter anti-inflammatory medications, helping to reduce inflammation throughout your body. This can be particularly beneficial for those with arthritis or other inflammatory conditions. Several studies have highlighted how incorporating bay leaves into one's diet can lead to marked improvements in inflammation markers. And let's not forget about metabolism and blood sugar levels. Bay leaf tea has been shown to have a positive effect on insulin function, which is crucial for maintaining healthy blood sugar levels. A study published in a reputable journal found that consuming bay leaves twice a day can help improve insulin function, which is great news for anyone monitoring their blood sugar, including those with diabetes. It's these kinds of studies that give us solid proof of the benefits, moving bay leaf tea from the realm of old wives' tales to scientifically backed health aid. So, while bay leaf tea isn't a miracle cure, the science backs up some pretty impressive benefits that can make a significant difference in managing digestion, inflammation, and blood sugar levels. Always look to credible sources and studies when evaluating health claims, and consider how these proven benefits can fit into your overall health regime. Let's take a quick trip through history and around the world to see how bay leaves have been used beyond just tossing them into a stew. Historically, bay leaves have been a symbol of high status and victory, dating back to ancient Greece and Rome where victors were crowned with wreaths of laurel leaves. But it wasn't just about looking majestic. These leaves were believed to have medicinal properties, used to treat everything from epilepsy to poor digestion. This traditional use has carried into many cultures, with bay leaves still being a go-to for herbal remedies, including teas to soothe various ailments. Bay leaves aren't just one size fits all. There are actually several varieties, each with its own unique flavor and use. The most common one you might know from your spice rack is the bay laurel, which is native to the Mediterranean region. 
Then there's the California bay leaf, which is similar but has a stronger flavor, and the Indian bay leaf, which is quite different and used in many aromatic Indian dishes. These varieties are sourced globally, depending on their native climates, with the Mediterranean, Central America, and parts of Asia being key growing areas. When it comes to culinary use, bay leaves are a staple in kitchens around the world. They're typically added to slow-cooked dishes like soups, stews, and sauces, where they impart a subtle depth and complexity to the flavor. As for tea, brewing bay leaves is an age-old remedy to aid digestion, relax the mind, and even help reduce symptoms of colds. The leaves are either steeped whole in hot water or crushed to release more of their essential oils. Whatever the method, bay leaf tea offers a warm, soothing experience that taps into centuries of herbal tradition. Okay, so you've got your bay leaves, and you're ready to dive into making some soothing bay leaf tea. But before you start, let's talk about how to do it right. First things first, cleanliness is key. Make sure your bay leaves are clean and free from any dust or pesticides. Give them a gentle wash if they're fresh, or a quick wipe if they're dry. Next, you'll want to select the right pot or kettle for brewing. A small to medium pot is perfect as it allows enough room for the water to circulate around the leaves, extracting all their flavors and benefits. Now, on to the brewing method. For the best results, bring water to a near boil, then add your bay leaves, about one large or two small leaves per cup of water should do the trick. Turn the heat down and let it simmer gently for about 5 to 10 minutes. This slow infusion process helps release the aromatic oils and compounds in the leaves, which are where all the magic happens. After simmering, remove the pot from heat and let it steep for another 5 minutes to really deepen those flavors. If you like, you can add a bit of honey or a slice of lemon to enhance the taste. Just remember, the leaf itself should be removed before drinking, as it's tough and not pleasant to chew or swallow. As for how often you should drink bay leaf tea, it's generally considered safe for daily consumption, but moderation is key. One cup a day is a good rule of thumb to enjoy its health benefits without going overboard. As with any herbal remedy, it's a good idea to give your body a break now and then. If you're drinking bay leaf tea for specific health reasons, such as to improve digestion or reduce inflammation, observe how your body responds over a few weeks. Adjust the frequency as necessary, and of course, if you have any underlying health conditions, consult your healthcare provider before making it a regular part of your routine. Even though bay leaf tea is a natural and generally safe herbal remedy, it's always good to keep a few precautions in mind. First off, while side effects are rare, they can happen. Some people might experience mild gastrointestinal discomfort, especially if they're not used to consuming bay leaves. There's also a possibility of allergic reactions, although it's pretty uncommon. Like any herb, bay leaves contain compounds that can interact with medications, especially blood thinners. That's because bay leaves have compounds that could potentially affect blood clotting, so if you're on medication like warfarin, it's particularly important to have a chat with your doctor before making bay leaf tea a regular thing. If you have any chronic health conditions, especially those that involve the liver or kidneys, it's wise to consult your healthcare provider before adding bay leaf tea to your routine. These organs play a crucial role in processing what we consume, and while bay leaves are beneficial, you want to make sure they won't complicate any existing health issues. This is also true for anyone pregnant or breastfeeding. Always better to play it safe and get that professional green light. And let's talk about moderation, king when it comes to anything, but especially so with herbal remedies. Drinking bay leaf tea might be delightful and beneficial, but overdoing it can lead to problems like those mentioned above. Stick to a cup a day, or even less. I hope you found this video both informative and interesting. Now, I'd love to hear from you. Have you ever tried bay leaf tea? Maybe you've used bay leaves in cooking? Drop your experiences and any questions you might have in the comments below. Let's keep the conversation going and learn from each other's insights. Plus, if there's something specific about bay leaf tea or any other herbal remedies you want to know more about, just let me know. If you enjoyed this video and think a friend or two might also appreciate these bay leaf insights, why not share it? It's a great way to spread some wellness knowledge and help others discover the benefits of this fantastic herbal tea. Sharing is caring, right? And who knows, your friends might also pick up a new healthy habit. Don't forget to check out our previous content here on Brain Blitz for more science-backed explorations and practical advice, like our video, The Science Behind Large Pores and How to Reduce Them. If you're digging these deep dives into health topics, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications to never miss out on new videos. Thanks for watching, stay curious, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers to good health and great tea!